Um, I would like to inform everyone that I am not being held captive against my will by a satanic cult on the island of Madagascar. You should not send police to exactly a negative 24.7 latitude, 45.3 longitude to rescue me because I am not scared for my life after having been only fed cat food and 1% milk for the last 10 days. Hello everyone, welcome back to Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, and, that was uh, pretty elaborate. That was a pretty elaborate uh, improvisation. Thank there. you. Yeah, and coordinates for your safety. Yeah, I looked I at the not... coordinates ahead of time. That was the only part I actually uh, didn't improvise. I, I was it's like, wonderful. what should I do at Madagascar? Um, That's wonderful. Hopefully no one goes there. Or yeah. a lot of people do. Maybe a lot of people go there. Nah. See if Gus is actually there. Yeah. You'll never know. It might be what it might be worth it. You never know. And please do not look for me in a jail cell, because I'm probably in one of many. You don't know which jail cells I am in. Yeah. But I reckon I'm probably in jail by now. Because I was, I literally told the, the police officer that pulled me over, I'm going to go watch my friend play Avatar The Last Ep and the video game. And he said, and uh, and said, he said oh, no, some Australian company made that. I used no, to, they I, said, I actually was the, uh, <laughs> I actually was the, um, visual designer for that game. Um, and, and I'd really said, rather not oh, have they... anybody play that ever. He said, I was the visual designer for that game, and I said, you know, it fucking sucks, right? And he said, yes, <laughs> I'm but fully I still aware. have to, I still am going to hit you and put you in jail anyway, because I tried really hard in the two months of development they allowed me to have. In the 48 hours of development. And while I was in handcuffs, he said, did you know I returned for the sequels? And I said, no, no one knows who made the game, because no one cares. It was made by an Australian company that's now defunct. An Australian branch of a larger company that is now defunct, and no one cares about it. Yep. What else What else did THQ Australia make? No one knows, because no one cares. So, yeah. Good oh, luck here with we that, go. Buddy. Training camp. That's Great, a lot of machines. I, the one thing I want to do in Avatar The Last Ender, train. Yeah. What what no, 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 what have... to do if not practice my bending by doing the same bending. moves over and over again? <laughs> you could learn to grow a bigger dick and bend that, but no, bending, as in the magic bullshit. Nah. Yo, Stomper, that's a not appropriate name at all. These look like fucking buttholes. And what is happening? Like prolapsed anuses. These are definitely prolapsed. You guys have been shitting too much. I need to say. A bit much. Uh. Yeah. Finishing move Yo. that is so cool. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> the, what? Oh my god. I have nothing nice to say about this. I'm gonna go... <laughs> You have I'm nothing sure nice to say, you don't say anything at all, young man. Uh, how about fuck you, old lady? I'm going to say many uh, horrid things about this terrible video game. I don't care if you helped make it. They probably they probably had like 70 people working on this. Oh, and they froze. saw that no, they saw good. they saw that slow motion finishing maneuver. And at least 40 of them sign off on it saying, yeah, that's This good is so enough. cool! <laughs> there was probably, the there was probably were like, like, there were probably like 10 of them who were like, Yo, this is the most epic thing! Yo! There were 30 of them that didn't care and just said, sure. Yeah. And then there was another 30 that said, guys, should we try to make something like, That's actually, actually good. interesting? And then they saw this. And they said no. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> Yo, how, nobody how cares. About... Nobody cares enough to play I... these games. The only thing that matters oh. is the show. Yeah. It's we'll just right. bring this in the voice is... actors. The voice actors are still like either, you know, Ang's voice actor at this point is still like actually ten years old, um, or the others are just like in their twenties. They could use some work. 
Uh, we'll just bring them in for the oh sake of it. It'll make it feel authentic. But there's actually not a my real God, story here. Dude. Dude, they actually made... <laughs> I looked up THQ Australia. They made fuck all. And they were all, like, licensed video games. They made... Of course. The, adve the, the advent Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Attack of the Twonkies. Not the Twonkies. <laughs> Fucking loser. SpongeBob <laughs> SquarePants lights camera pants. Of course, and then all, my favorite all video of game. The all of the Avatar games, including just the last Airbender. So wait, yo, is there, like, they did the, the the movie one too. Shit. I'm not even kidding. I didn't know that was a thing, but it looks like they did. Yeah, dude, I had the, the movie game for my DS. What the. F Fuck. Well, they made the Wii version, oh. whatever that means. And then I don't know if I ever had the Mega. Wii version. They did two Mega Mind games: Ultimate Showdown and Mega Team Unite. They really made Mega Mind were, games? Wow. And they were going to do the Avengers game before it was cancelled because they fucking sucked. Because they shut down. Yep. I can't believe like they made like seven games and they're Ooh. probably all terrible. Oh yeah. It's it's impressive, and they're all licensed. All crappy licensed video games made in Brisbane. It mm. wasn't worth it. Try harder. <laughs> Go back to your day job. Go. Everyone that was in this industry, go do something. All right, else. we you now were, have an Earthbender. They were, they were active for eight years, and they made and they seven made shitty games. Seven games. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More like nine, but even still, no, eight. No, they made a game a year. They made Literally eight a shitty game games. A year. Oh my god, why? You. The more, the more I look into the lore of THQ Australia, the more I want to die. But it's like it's too. Ter it's so terrible that I kind of want to know more. It's impressively bad. It actually is impressively bad. How many more fucking... Fuck. Oh, I dropped my laptop. How many more fucking... Um... Branches of THQ were there? I don't know. Oh, there was... There were actually quite a lot. Oh, well, sub... Subsidiaries. What are those? Subsidiaries. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Yo! THQ San Diego. What did you make? Wow, they made WWE All Stars. Good on them. My favorite game. Be careful. So it was more like THQ just bought a bunch of random companies and renamed them. As is. <laughs> they know, just were the like, you're now us. us. You're now us, but in this state. That is definitely fucking. Like, the. the mo That is definitely what, like large video game companies uh, excel at doing. Buying out smaller companies, renaming them into something shitty, and then they fail. Miserably, every and single time. This seems to be THQ's moniker before they shut down. Before they decided, oh wait, we only make bad games. Also, we have an Earthbender now. We have that one guy from like that one episode who like came back a couple times. Um... He came, he came back like at near the end. Yeah, for near that, the that, end for the, the for the um for the day of Black Sun, like just about everybody did. Um but he's here now for some reason. He's in the game. But I think he's here because we need an Earthbender. Because now we can do more focus moves and more drawing. But why him? Why not just Toph? Why well, Toph is not in this game yet. They haven't gotten they haven't technically trained Aang in waterbending as of this point. Yo, I kind of gay. Yeah, but well, THQ, THQ in their entirety though made it made a few decent games like in their entirety, but like they they made a lot of like like all the original WWE games like a lot of them were actually good, and then I'm sure they made like Tony Hawk's Underground and stuff like that, like games I actually fucking played and enjoyed.
But like whenever they got a licensed product and they're like, oh, we can't be fucked with this. Yo, THQ Australia, you want to take this one? And they... Have fun, guys. Failed. And now we're not about to, like, Ooh, in sorry. within time. Within time, we're going to be playing three of them, which upsets me, dearly. Doesn't upset me, I'm excited. Um, that place, so the mines could collapse at any time. Those brothers and their uncle are the only ones crazy enough to go in there. Okay, what about you? Oh, you're the same. Great. Three peep, three chicks, and they all say the exact same shit. Perfect oh, video game. Can activate like, uh, Momo mode for him to walk around and do absolutely jack squat. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm so worried about my sick daughter. I don't care. Uh, hello. hello. My family no. is slowly dying. Not that long ago, I threw her toys into the forest. Wow. What the fuck what were you? The, <laughs> what? what the you, you're you're terrible. Okay, find the lost panda doll. That seems easy you're enough. You're a terrible mother. Why would you throw them into the forest? Just put them in the fucking cupboard or something. Are you stupid? Greetings, <laughs> friends. <laughs> to li literally put them in a, any Ooh. high shelf. You'll be fine. I have a few things. Where does the ore come from? Wait, I've run out of black ore. Oh, he Where's needs help. Black ore. Come Where's this mine? Okay, thanks. Can I what, buy from what you? Do you get, what do you get from completing these? Do you get Nothing. Money? Can we buy from you? Well, I think you just get, like, money and shit. Let's see your store. I'm trying to find a will to live. Can they give me that? It might, it might be at- dead. Oh my I'm, god, that's 400. I only have 300. Yo, THQ made the Cars game. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to. I mean, I kind of want to play the cars game a little I bit. I kind of want to play that now. <laughs> oh, there's a Wii version of it. Yo, get the Wii version. Oh to play. my god. Momo. Oh my god. Momo. Please. Maybe Momo can find some Appa food. Oh, we have to feed Appa? Why? Okay, Momo. One, two. What, what, what's wrong, Oppa? Why do we have to fight? Two? How do I do Momo mode? Block. Oh, there he goes. How 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 long do you think they reveled in their joy when they came up with the name Momo mode? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm flying through your bitch's hoe. Oh, crazy wheezes Momo mode. How do I do this? The fuck is Cars Race Over Rama, and why does it look terrible? Uh, is there even a story to that game? Cars Race Over Rama. No, it's literally just a racing game. If they play Life Wait. is if okay, if they play Life is a Highway in the Cars game for any reason, I will play it. I don't care. That's is that literally all you need? Yes. All right, I'll have a look and see. They actually are able to. They do un. That. I need time to un Momo mode. Hello. Yo. Welcome to our village. Tyra said to let you know that you're safe. A young Earthbender was kidnapped. I'll send some people that'll help restore the camp. In the meantime, so there's the Fire Nation machines that attacked the Earthbenders camp. And the Earthbenders were almost killed or something. Now we have Haru with us for reasons. Now we're going to restore the camp because it got trashed. In the meantime, I'll keep watch over the village. Oh, something has just shaken in the middle of my conversation with this old lady. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I fear I've come good. from the mine. Alright, we'll go check it out. I didn't Cause find any Momo mode food. Found no Momo food mode. Video game soundtrack. Life is a highway. What if they just have, like, a shitty cover of Life is a Highway that's not done by Rascal Flats, but instead it's done by, like, fucking... I don't know. They actually have a fair few amount of, like, not original songs for it, but none of them are Life is a Highway. They There's really, ma they really made original songs for the Cars video game and didn't no, include I don't, Life I don't is know a Highway? I, don't, I doubt they're original, but, like... But no, 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 there's an original score, but the songs they do have in the actual soundtrack, none of them are Life is a Highway. This is unbelievable. There's fr free Ride, Best Looking Guy in Town, Come On, Let's Go, Rock This Town. 
and a Get bunch of other shit, but none of them are worth as a highway. Okay, free ride is alright. It's an okay song. There's a video Jeez, I'm discovering so much. There's a video game soundtrack fandom wiki. Of c wow, what isn't there a fandom wiki for? I think you'd have a hard Fra time figuring that, that out. There needs to be a fandom wiki on us, and it'll be like trivia. Trent has like ejaculated seventeen thousand times in his lifetime. We're keeping count. Like, leave me. Alone. <laughs> We're watching. But who's watching me? Who's in my room? Who's been watching me since like I was uh, thirteen or whenever I started jacking off? Who's been watching me ever since then, keeping track? I I want to know so I can like. Destroyed where should I- where energy. can I find you so I can look you directly in the eyes next time? Dude! <laughs> they- dude, okay, do you remember the TV show The Biggest Loser? Yeah, of course I do. They made a video game. <laughs> of course called they did. The Biggest- The Biggest Loser Ultimate Workout. So I'm a, and it's for Connect and Wii. It's so for Connect. It's, it's literally just a workout. Like video game that stuff is epic. with fucking the biggest loser shit on it. That's fucking ridiculous. I can't believe they've done this. I'm glad the biggest loser isn't a TV show anymore. Yeah, now they have like other stupid things to go in its place. I'm I don't know what they this... are, but I'm sure there are other workout uh, shows of similar and caliber. Now nowadays, it's just. Nowadays it's just shows that like, uh, that make dumb people look fantastic, and that's essentially it. Uh, it's just like, yo, this guy is a fucking idiot, but he's got muscles. He he. Let's put him on TV. Let's put him on TV to talk. Guess what the final video game that THQ ever made was? Jeopardy for the PlayStation 3 and 360. Jeopardy! Oh man. And suddenly before that, WWE 13. So, you can see how terrible they were getting towards the end oh, yeah. of their life. Oh man, I totally had WWE 13. That was the one with CM Punk on it. It was. That was like the only WWE game I ever had. Well, maybe I had WWE 12, but it would, at that at 12 is, I don't think it was called WWE. I think it was like SmackDown versus Raw still. Um, no, uh, I think it was WWE 12, and it had Randy Orton on the front. No, I think. And maybe I had 2011. Oh, Aang's dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure 2011 was the, yeah 2011 was the last one that was SmackDown versus Raw. Those are the only two games I had. I remember, I, I, I don't remember playing them much, but I do remember enjoying WWE 13 for what it was, which was really uh, bad and hard to play, but you could do finishing moves, and it was fun, and that's all you really need. <laughs> I could hit someone with a pile driver, so I didn't have to do that in real life. Yeah, so I could I vent my anger least... by doing the GTS on somebody. Yeah, okay, my mate had, uh, yeah, Callum had the SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 game for the Wii. Really? And it was, yeah, it was bad. Like, and I think he, he must have had a busted controller or something, because for some reason, like, actually, no, it wasn't a busted controller. We reckon it was a bug with the game, because we tried multiple controllers. One character would just for some reason continuously try to run up the ramp and we couldn't get control of him. So we played like the single player mode or whatever it was, yeah. just one, uh, just fighting bots. And it, the controls were so fucking flimsy on the Wii controller. It was just not good in any regard. Yeah. Pure example of bad, um, port <laughs> bad ports to the Wii. It wasn't worth it. I feel like most ports to the Wii were bad. I actually had... I, it reminding me now, I did actually have one of the SmackDown vs. Raw games on the DS. Ew. I forgot, I forgot which one it was, but I remember playing it, like, three times 
and then thinking this is atrocious and i traded it in probably for, i like, also remember playing the um the last airbender movie game on my ds and actually enjoying it but i think if i went back now it would be fucking god awful but it would be funny would you want to play that for this i don't know because <laughs> i mean it is a ds is game yeah oh god oh, it just wait there's a limit to like these three games but then the movie version of the game like oh fuck and it's for the ds no. is there not another version like for another console there is one of this for the game boy advance no but is the is there an, like a console version of the movie game? oh i don't know maybe i don't know if that would be worth it maybe but the movie itself is worth it <laughs> I God. love the movie. It's so fucking bad. I, I've already said this in the last Airbender episode we did, but like, when I saw it with my cousin, just the amount of disappointment both of us shared, it was, it was so fucking terrible. Because we watched it's... the entire... Literally, my cousin and I loved it. We watched the entire... All three seasons together. We lo loved, like... The Last of the Nerd in its entirety, and then we saw the movie, and we were both incredibly disappointed. Like, none of us said any, neither of us said anything leaving the cinema, because all I said when the movie ended was, was that it? And then we just walked out in silence. It was, oh my god. It's my I, favorite. I fucking love the movie. It's so fucking bad. <laughs> Like, it's in like, I, I don't understand how you can make a movie that is that bad. Like, if you're, if you're an accomplished director who, like, has experience, if you've literally made one movie, you could make a better movie than that. You have, like, I'm any curious. amount of experience, if you know how to direct actors, you can make a better movie than that. But apparently, if you're M. Night Shyamalan, you, uh, have your own creative visions, that are just not good. What are you whining about, dickhead? There's no update. Oh, but you're... There isn't any update on that Netflix adaptation. Yeah. That one probably... probably that, see, see the, the, the thing that scares me about that one is the, the last Airbender movie was notable because it was so bad. I'm afraid the Netflix adaptation is just going to be mediocre and no one's going to remember it. Yeah, there's there's potential for that. Like, there's potential that they're going to try and play it so safe that it's going to end up just being terrible. Yeah. But well, the, well, no, like, I don't think it'll be terrible. I think it'll just be totally fucking average and not noteworthy at all. Yeah, I guess. Hopefully they. Mm -hmm. Even though the, the the original creators left the project, hopefully, hopefully, they actually have people running it that give a shit and like try to make it useful. I am like, good, like good. Yeah, and because they're kind of in a position where if they take any risks, they're gonna they could easily uh, like get receive a lot of backlash. Like depending on what risks they take, at least. Um, I watched, uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, well, the video I watched yesterday, Matt Pat's new, uh, theory, which was about YouTube. Um, it's really interesting, actually, like, how he, he was talking about how YouTube has, like, grown up. YouTube is now the big boy platform, and you have to clean up your act to the point where, like, you, like, advertisers on YouTube feel it's acceptable to put their ads on your content. You know, like if you if you're swearing in the first minute, or if you're you know doing you know embarrassing yourself in Japan in front of a cemetery, um, all of a sudden you don't have you're not making your money and you're not paying your bills every month. Um, so that uh, MatPat kind of said it was like YouTube was growing up and becoming an adult, um, whereas TikTok is now the new global kid in the room. Um, 
because it's like easily accessible by anyone like you don't have to have super good content to to get do well you would just you could just post whatever and it would get views um and that's kind of what the, what's happening with netflix right like and it's also because yeah. there's pressure from audiences to not do anything weird there's pressure from advertisers to like um to make sure it's like family friendly or not offensive um like there you could so easily like for for any for from any one of those uh oh and there's pressure from the platforms to make sure it follows like community guidelines so there's you could easily like any content creators could easily like have any one of those three things like completely backfire on them given depending on what they do um mm. so I thought that it's like really interesting to think about like how so many people have to clean up their act and like especially the audience part of that where like if you say anything that's like even remotely offensive anymore it's like you get totally back like it just comes back to bite you totally um it's it's it can be a scary thought you know yeah no it, you're very true with that i I've yet to watch that video. I'm assuming it's you don't the, need to. Uh, it's 25 of minutes video. of Matt Pat saying the same shit over and over again. I just explained to you the whole video. I've I've watched him do that before. I mean, yeah, it, it is a good point though. Just with with the way YouTube is now, it is difficult. Like, in all honesty, with like especially like with me, the shit I make, I don't think I'm ever gonna get like a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna keep just making random shit, but because I have me and do dumb shit, I don't think I'm gonna fucking get a high map point, like a high point at all. Which is fair. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and it, it's Why gonna be difficult for us, given us and what we do. Literally, I made an appeal for the second episode of Floor of Sky. Because it like it got age restricted, yep. as you know, and I, and I feel like I, I thought, oh, is it because we said beats up girls or something, like is it like harassment or whatever? So I changed the name to unspecified gender, and got rid of the word dicks in the description. But then uh, my appeal comes the appeal comes back saying. We reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our sex and nudity policy. And I'm like, wait a minute. Where? What in the? I where? <laughs> where in our video does we do we violate the sex and nudity policy? Like, see, little shit like that. What have we done? There's nothing in the thumbnail. It's fucking sand aisle. So like, what have we done to? like breach that like youtube is cracking down hard as fuck on that sort of shit which is fair enough they're a big company now they kind of need to do that yeah but um no sorry it's the um the one with and there was a lot of uh, uh Tim, yeah and there was like there's a lot of talk about how youtube is the successor to television so just like television youtube now has to like clean up its act a lot um and that means it's content creators have to do the same um otherwise there's just no way anybody can like realistically make a big living on youtube um so or like make their steady living you know because like there's no way if you if you're not consistently getting monetized um you're just fucked there was one funny yeah. bit where Matt Pat was like, I feel like I'm one of the most edgy... There's a problem when I feel like I'm one of the most edgy creators on the platform talking about child murder on a semi-frequent basis. Um, so, I was like, I appreciate that. He's He's got a point. For real. <laughs> but I'm monetized and I talk about dead kids for a living, so, like, y'all, yeah. what's up? What's up, guys? I am now Edge Lord. Um, <laughs> I am the edge lord because I talk about fascinating things. <laughs> the boob uh, episode got demonetized. Nah, <laughs> one episode featuring boobs. Because uh, no other episode features suck. boobs. 
fucking suck a dick. But, um... And, uh... It, Especially with like, yeah, with Netflix and their size, I, I'm glad they're at least still kind of taking risks with some things. Like, I'm glad it's not all 100% safe. Like, literally, The Witcher as a show is a good example of that. Like, a lot of fucking grotesque shits in that. But, like, I, I'm glad they're Netflix is doing well enough. But yeah, I do feel like they could they could go the route of YouTube and trying to be safe with everything, but they haven't yet. But they could easily go that way. Yeah, and that's not. I feel. I mean, I feel like it's. It's probably more like only. A, ow. I feel like it's probably only more like a matter of time. Like I, I know they're still taking risks, and I, like there is. I feel like there's definitely more room for, like actually R-rated shit on Netflix, which is actually just, you know, they. They, they are getting paid with, like, memberships and stuff. Like, to watch Netflix, you need a membership. Um, whereas... See, that's, you, the, that's the exact thing. You, it, it's a subscription service where, you, like, it, it funds itself, really. Yeah. They can just promote themselves. They don't have advertisers to yeah. appease. So, that's actually... That, I mean, that's yeah. actually a good thing. And, like, when you have access to that many shows via Netflix, I mean, why would you ever, like, want cable? You know? Like, you don't even need it. Mm. Like, that's why there's so much decline in, like, the live network. Because we have so much stuff just on demand whenever we want. We don't want to have to wait till, like, X time of the day to for some program to come on. Unless it's, like, a weekly thing that we're already familiar with. It, it like, just having that much stuff on demand is, like, that's a game changer. And, that, I mean, it is changing the game currently. You know? Honestly, like, the only thing, I swear the only thing television is used for nowadays is for the news and for old people to watch really, really well, old and television Well, and I think, shows the, I think like the cable or live television will survive thanks to sports. A lot of sports I've seen are actually going the streaming route as well. Like, well, they're still live. football the True, that they're live on a, on on a delay, but like a lot of the actual live sports are on streaming services now, mm -hmm. while like replayed on delay or whatever the fuck it's called is like three hours after it actually airs. That's still a thing, but they could very easily change that. I, I reckon it's only because not everyone who's into the sport knows how to work with the streaming services. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to put um, Australian Rules Football, um, AFL, on a streaming service, and it's just not going well. Like, like, they can't figure it out. So they just... It's still heavy on TV yeah. and stuff like that. But, um... Like, our, our soccer league was uh, in conjunction with one of our telephone providers, Optus, and on their, st they got their own fucking streaming service and phone plan deal w fucking thing. It's weird. What the? But fuck, um, right? that's where our that's where our football is kind of held up. So, I mean, most places you can watch most great. of the fuck stuff. Ow. Yeah. So sports could easily change that, and as well with the amount. People are getting like their news yeah. online now as well. Well, and I, and like, I think it, like it's just yeah, and I, I mean I think the sports like a lot of people are gonna want that shit live. Like I don't think because the sports are such a huge mainstream entertainment like thing. I don't think they're going anywhere, and there will come a point where people will only have access to streaming services. Like cable will be have completely obsolete, and. Um, I think they're gonna still want their sports as it happens, right? So they can, like, talk online with other sports fans about it who are at the game. Or something along those lines. Like, even through streaming services, eventually, there's gonna be enough uproar about it that they're gonna want- That that streaming services are gonna have to provide sports, live sports. Or at least there has to be, like, its own streaming service that provides live sports. And I believe those do exist. Like fucking Fubo TV or whatever the fuck they have live sports. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I've heard of that one. Um, so and they, you know, they have a lot of it American honestly... football, baseball, basketball, all that kind of shit. Um, so oh wow, great job, Ang, you dumb fuck. Um, 
it's a it's honestly just a few simple steps and then cable tv and tv in general will be obsolete it's just a few simple steps and that will happen but they can't really do that just yet because of well and there's still yeah, a lot of still, boomers who who have cable it, tv yeah still a lot of boomers I know more grandmothers with iPhones now than like any other time. Especially, it's it's bizarre to see the amount of grannies using these this really advanced technology. Like, I saw one with an iPhone 12. I'm like, how the fuck? Why do you need an iPhone 12? What are you gonna? You gonna take for? fucking cin cinematic photography of your like two year old? Granddaughter, I guess that makes sense, but even still, like that's like cinema quality. You don't need that shit. Where's your fucking little Polaroid camera? Yeah. Where's your little uh, fucking handheld days. Canon? I remember having those way those back the, when. That was the shit. I love everyone's sneak pose. And how I'm not gonna pull this off, are we? Damn it! <laughs> Shit, wow, no, I, I had really, it! And then he fucking... I really thought he wasn't gonna see you there for a minute. What are you doing? Saving a bear? Yes, yeah, saving a bear. A platypus bear, specifically. I'm now invisible. This is so r relevant to the plot. I'm now invisible. You can't see me. My time is now. Yo. Dang, you twink. Oh, I think Sokka has to do Let this the... one. What is this? Sokka, hit it with your boomerang really hard. I mean, it's made of, like, wood. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> that was absolutely <laughs> atrocious, but it's still 88%. So... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? What are you... How are you a master? <laughs> No, this was made for fucking four-year-olds. What the shit? Boomerang wins. Yeah, boomerang wins. And, bo and boomers lose. Do invisible. There we go. Yo, you have a... B Dude, you have a bear in your party. They don't care. And they can't see it. Okay, <laughs> restore. This is best game. This is best game. They can't see a giant fucking bear running. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> they really just don't care. Wow. Yo, you know that thing we, like, spent ages putting in a cage and kidnapping? It's, it's, it's literally, literally walking past out us right now. By itself. I just love how it accompanies you like a member of the party. There you go. The poacher's quest Before complete. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I said I was going to ramble about this last night. I should ramble about it. So, oh, okay. yeah. um, <sighs> Demon Slayer recently bent me over backwards and fucked me in the ass. Um, oh. because... Uh, so what is happening with Demon Slayer is they are releasing the Mugen Train arc from, uh, I believe like two weeks from now, or like maybe one week from now. They're releasing seven episodes that re basically are just the movie, but like rehashed footage of the movie that like kind of tell a little more detailed story of the Mugen Train arc, which was in the, uh, which was what was covered in the movie. And... Then they're doing the entertainment district district arc starting in December, um, and that means <laughs> there are two <laughs> Demon Slayer openings coming out in the next two months. Oh, um, fuck! Yeah. So the first one for the Mugen Train arc is by Lisa, and the second one is by Aimer, who I also love. Um, Great. Yep. So they, Demon Slayer has recently has just fucked me sideways. Um, 
but so now there's two Lisa songs I get to cover in the next two months. First, the SEO Progressive one, and then also the Demon Slayer one. I I probably could uh, skip the Demon Slayer one, but it actually sounds good because I did skip Homura or whatever it's called, the one for the actual movie. I wasn't as big of a fan of of that one, um, but I, so I just ended up skipping it. Um, but the uh, the the one for the the new anime season actually sounds like it'll be really good. Well, that also so, begs the question: Does it mean is it? Should you watch the movie and then, like, are you able to skip the first seven episodes, or do you just watch the first seven episodes and not the movie? Well, so the thing is, the first seven episodes are going to have extra content that were not in the movie. Like, I believe there's even some original content that wasn't even in the manga. Um, oh god. Yeah. Should I just go out like, of my believe, way to watch all of it because it's good, or should I? Don't. Just... I mean, honestly, honestly, you. So you've seen the movie? No. Okay, then don't even watch the movie. Alright. Uh, easy. Yeah. That's the easiest, easy thing. I'm not gonna watch the movie. But <laughs> yeah, I'll just, just don't watch the movie. I'll just watch, you don't need it. I'll watch the episodes as they come out. I'm, I guess they're on Funimation. Fuck. Um, no, they're on Crunchyroll. They're on Crunchyroll? Yep. Probably American Crunchyroll, because I think they're just on Funimation over here, but I have a VPN. So... That's easy. Yes, they're, they will be on Crunchyroll. They'll be on both. They'll be on Crunchyroll and Funimation. But I believe the dub is Funimation, so you're not really missing anything. Alright, well, I'll just fucking watch it as it- I'll watch it as it comes out, then. I'm not gonna worry about the movie. Yeah, Yep, you movie. don't need it. Lucky you, because you've been putting that off for goddamn ages, so now you don't even need it. I haven't finished Jujutsu Kaisen yet. I'm- I just can't be- Of course you have I just can't be fucked. I'm nearly there. I just can't be fucked. I, I, I recently wrote down a list of anime that I'm going to be watching, or I think I'm going to be watching, I don't know, Some I haven't seen some of it yet, but, or like, I thought some of it was supposed to be out already, but it's not. There are seven new anime I am watching this season. <laughs> Great. Hello. Yeah. That's a lot. What they be. Um, so, first one is Demon Slayer, of course. Um... I have. I might have to fucking pull up my my document that I wrote down on. I was just this little note notepad on my desktop. Um, it's so what the other the others start with one of them that I like heard was apparently really good because a lot of people really love the manga. It's called Komi Can't Communicate, which is a slice of life deal. I don't really know what it's about, but apparently it's very funny. Um, and apparently it's like like it's one of the most highly rated new like slice of life manga along with like quince and shit like that um slight as far as like slice of life manga goes everybody really loves it so i'm like all right i'll you know watch it and see if i like it um there is oh boss time um there is i know there's the world's best assassin the world's best assassin was reincarnated into another world as a, an aristocrat or some shit like that. I don't know, it looks stupid. Um, but I need my fill of stupid shows. The um, name sounds familiar, I might have heard it somewhere. Yeah. Interesting. Um, that one's coming out. I, I, it looks like a 3D anime, but I'm not actually sure on that. It could very easily just be a 2D anime, I don't, I don't actually know. Defeat the Angry Bear, of course. Um, Defeat the bear. But uh, so there's that one. There is <laughs> my my new favorite show, uh, Worlds and Harem, which my God, it looks so bad, and I love it. Um, is that one like again? it? It's apparently like on the same level as like what would be similar? I guess like um, Demon of Magic Academy or whatever the fuck that was. Um, where they, like, start making out in, like, the first episode. Um, that that's, this seems to be on that level. Um, so that, that'll be good. Um, there is, oh my god, what's, what's the other one? There are, there are a couple, there are a few more now. Stop bitch slapping me. Stop fucking hitting me. Oh, here we go. Hey, I need you guys' help here. Can you guys help me hit the bear? Um. 
but you hit wow, this. my controller just went fucking crazy. Um, but uh, oh my god, I'm trying to remember. This, this boy um, is ugly. Oh my god, World's End Harem. I thought it was supposed to come out already, and I haven't seen it. I really want to see it. <laughs> oh, because it looks so fucking bad. I, I just, I want it so much. <laughs> So like, bad. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy terrible anime. Um... Oh, that's right. Um, 86, season 2. Um, because I just finished up the first season of 86. Um... It's like this weird mech show deal where they... But it's actually like... I don't know. It's not really my speed, personally. Just because I like stupid shows. But it's a really good... Um, it's a really, like, well-established, like... Um, thoughtful take on like discrimination and um, society during times of war. Um, it's it's all really like it's very well thought out and it's very like realistic take on that sort of thing. Um, and it's it's also got mechs fighting each other. Yeehaw! Um, Yo, as you do in anime. Um, so uh, and it's like a lot of it's another one that a lot of people really really like. Um, again, like, it's not probably, it's not my personal favorite, but I recognize how good it is, because it is really, really good. It's very well done. Um, so the se second season of 86 is coming out. The second season of Mushoku Tensei, which was, like, I believe, um, which is, like, the jobless reincarnation, um, where that, like, 34-year-old gets reincarnated as a, as a literal baby, is, like, apparently the father of isekais or whatever. Um, second season of that is coming out. I haven't finished the first season yet, but, um, it's... I've only watched the first episode of season one. It's mm. quite an adventure. Um, the, 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 you got, you got to hear the, um, you got to hear the mom and dad fucking each other in the first episode. It was great. Um... Oh, wonderful. Apparently, there was a dub of that. It was so funny. Um... One of the one of them is actually a voice like the mom is a voice actress I recognize, and she, like in the dub she says like, "Oh, you're a beast! Oh, take me to the tower." <laughs> and I, was, <laughs> I was like, "Wow, they had fun with that." Um, damn. God damn. We need to listen to her um, going ham. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck, the mom is hot. I don't blame the guy. Um, Jesus. The, uh, but yeah, second season of that is coming. I literally have no no idea what this show is about, really. But apparently, this this child who is has a, a is a 34 year old with all his memories intact. I'm about to die here, by the way. Um, Sweet. I know you're not gonna last much longer, you fucking moron. I'm not gonna last. I'm not gonna last one more. I might get him here. What? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, Sokka! Yay! Oh my god, Sokka did. lives with barely any life. <laughs> Swag. Um... Uh, hold on. The fuck? It turned into a uh, guy! What? What? You kicked my ass. Thank you. You kicked my ass. There's another one of similar caliber of, like, the, uh... Uh... The world's best assassin that I'm not remembering. Oh, 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 um, so yeah, those were the two sequels, of course, Demon Slayer is also a sequel, but it was, it was like, there's another stupid one, it's like, ba banished from the hero's party, the, he the, I decided to live a quiet life in, X I don't remember, something along those lines, um, huh. sounds really stupid, but, as I have stated, I love stupid anime, yes, um, so, and I don't know how much of if if any of those like, like I don't know I won't like not a lot of them I won't be prioritizing. I think Demon Slayer will be the only one that I'll actually watch every week. Um, maybe it, I mean it depends on how much I like the others. Maybe World's End Harem. That shit's that that that'll be good. Um, mm. I'm unreasonably excited about that one. It just looks so fucking bad. Um, and I've talked about this on the show previously, but like. Just how, like, <laughs> harem shows have gotten self-aware to the point where they know they're trash and they just embrace it. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing, truly. 
um, because it results in these like harem shows that are just so like they just oh my god they just go above and beyond they go the extra mile of trash and it honestly just makes it so much funnier oh we get oh it's boomy my I best friend he didn't say it because you were talking but that smile that guy made on the back of upper it looked it, it was ter the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life well we're now in Omashu so, great Glad I'm here. Dude, we didn't help yeah, anyone help you, with buddy. any of their shit in the previous time. Yeah. I literally picked up the panda doll and didn't give it back to the mom. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you have a random panda doll now. Yeah. Sounds nice. Oh, I should, um... Nobody trusts anyone. If we find it, it's yours. I wonder if I can get, um... After that, how much money do I have? Does it say? Does it tell me how much money I have? Cause, uh, I could use some level ups. Oh. Or like some equipment upgrades. 6.43. Oh, but I probably picked up some stuff. Here we go. Let me just equip some things. I think equipment Sun slippers. doesn't change your design. Mm, yep. That's correct. That's the laziness of Australian developers. Thank you. We tried our best. Well, I don't think we did, actually. Yeah, I was we gonna say. We tried our bare minimum. You did the best you possibly could. Given the situation you were in. <laughs> to develop eight games. In our eight entire games total. Span. Honestly, it must have been a team of, like, 20 people. Anyway, not getting back to this. Um, yeah, no, I have not been keeping up to date with, like, seasonal anime or anything like that. I know Demon Slayer's coming. I'm keen for that. And that's about it. Like, I've not been paying attention. I'm too busy. I, I've been in a writing... I've been in a writing groove lately, so I've, I've just been, like, coming home from work and writing, and then walking my dog, and then... Just getting ready. I, I've just not been thinking about anime at all. How do I do this? Panda amulet. Ah, oh, Rue, you have a creepy smile. Kill yourself. Great. I now have equipment upgrades. You have a panda charm. Charming, ain't it? You're three twins? Mm. Where oh where? We're in the Earth Kingdom. I mean, I'm glad they're actually writing. That's a step in the right direction. What's been stolen? Because I remember you, you, you for a long time, you were still figuring that shit out. Like what you were actually gonna do and planning it out. Oh my God, it's a cat. Um, but I mean, yeah, if, fuck it. If you're just, if you're gonna, if you actually have the motivation to write, fuck anime. Who gives a shit? Yeah, nah. It, it's like I don't know. Yeah, I was just planning for the longest time, and now I'm actually like, let's actually get this done. <laughs> let's let's actually write the bitch, and yeah, and I've been enjoying it. So that's the main thing. Like, it, it takes a while, but you actually you get to the point where you're like, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying coming up and being coming up with shit and being creative. I'm happy. I'm back into that mood, and now that I've especially. Now that I'm actually officially full time, I, I do get home a little bit earlier just because of the time I do save. Um, just yeah, more time all around to do other shit that I want to do. Um, however, the work hours are generally the same, so me getting up early to record shit, it's probably not not a likelihood. <laughs> Dad, I don't think I can do that. So, well, that's fine. That sucks for us. I wasn't gonna ask you to anyway. Oh, look, hello. Your Majesty. This moment has hello, sir. My mind for... <gasps> You're here for the play. Guards, costumes. <laughs> oh, Sokka is now part of the play. Look, oh, that's not funny at all. Not to be in some stupid play. But Blossom the Dancing Warrior is one of my favorites. 
So, what's this about machines? I look it's just bedazzling in that tutu. Why told us we can learn about them here? Here? There's nothing here but a bowl of fruit and a large man. Ah. Maybe you should... Ha 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 ha. Of course! That must have been what the sage meant about growing the knowledge we had. Oh yeah, that was one smart bear. The royal library contains all the knowledge of the Earth Kingdom. And is completely... Literally, you're right. Sucker's voice actor is the only one that's actually having fun. Oh, look. It's the yep. Two -shoes console come to no one else is having fun. These are Earth Kingdom traditions. But Aang is the Avatar. Surely... And they will be respected. But we need to find... This discussion is over. Oh, this is the one where you sneak in the library. Okay, great. I know how to do this. Must respect our traditions. What is you're not from the Earth Kingdom, are you? Boomy, you're a mad genius. Now off with you. I said the line. Catch you in that library. Yeah, say that out, said say the that line. even louder, buddy. Please just expel explain our plan out loud to everyone. Wait. Wait, wait, did we just talk to him? Oh, hello. Goodbye. Okay, great. I got a Gemini ring. Wonderful. Okay. We have a Who thing now. It to? I don't care. You're so maybe put the weapons away. We kind of look like this is a bit weird. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna just go whack all the bitches. My giant fucking stick. Can you use it? That's to the glide? only thing I do in this game. Nope. There's why not? They figure that's a thing you can do. Ask TXG to... Australia, bro. I'm gonna go find these fucking developers and ask them so many questions. You know, the next Firestorm uh, podcast special is gonna be me interviewing uh, the creators of this game. Well, ask, and well, the only question I'm gonna ask them 17 times is, is why. And um, I expect a different why answer did you do every this? time I ask it. Fucking oh. hell! I thought you were just—I thought you just attacked for no reason, but no, there's cats. Got him. See that cat? Dead. Probably belonged to someone, but it's dead. Owned. Hey, yeah, there's more of them. Owned. Oh, oh bandits and burglars and rangers. They all look the same. How about you range this dick, man. How about you range my nuts? Uh. Yo, that was a good one. Thank you. Ah, my burp, not your decent nuts joke. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad decent nuts joke. It wasn't. It was supposed to be bad. I wasn't trying to be good. I wasn't trying to compliment you either. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, take a bow. You at least validate my bad joke. God damn. I can validate. By saying it's bad. I validate your jokes when I actually find them funny. Yeah, like you've had dr drive over cliff and die your status for like a week. Yeah, I know. It's going to stay like that for a while. I still want to make that t shirt. That'd be <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's like just... my worst joke. <laughs> I know. I love it. <laughs> it actually made me laugh. <laughs> and unironically still does. He's That's unbelievable. Drive over the cliff and die. It's like, like my worst fucking joke I've ever made on this show. Up there with the range D's nuts. Yep. And only one left an impact on me. Wow. I don't know how that works, but there you go. Yeah, I really don't know how your sense of humor works. There's no consistency to it. Ah. It really isn't. I've even thought I've even thought about this, and I'm like, I don't know. It's just whatever I find funny in the moment, and then it just sticks with me for like a year, and then it goes away. Yeah, you never let it go either. You just like, you just think about it for like the next fucking month. No, that's it. It just sticks with me for ages, and then it eventually disappears. Like I replace it with a different bad joke. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm weird. I yeah, stopped, I fucking know. I stop. I don't think about it anymore. When I think about it, think about my entire existence, and I'm like, "What the fuck is? What am I doing? 
Why, why, why drive over the cliff and die? <laughs> and then... Elaborate. Please elaborate, right, Brian. Haru is no, not can't. going into the. Haru is not going into the library. All right, good. I didn't because care it's about against it the law or some shit. I don't fucking. Look at that matte painting. It almost looks 3D. A little bit. Is that a matte painting? No, I don't think it is actually. Yeah, the way but it looks like it. The way it's moving, freaking out. Fuck. Yo, can this be neat. even longer? Royal Library. This guy had spent most of their time. They wonder they get any work done. Okay, what? Right. So I should talk to him? Password? Uh. Find the tea house. Password. As one does. Um, find the tea house. Shut up, Momo. Is that what the question mark is? Is that Momo wanting to do something? Yes. It means Momo can find something, but. I don't know where to find it. Well, you know what? It's probably Momo flying up. I mean, Momo can't fly. Momo just runs. Momo like just runs around and does nothing. I can't believe there's we're so... Actually use, we're actually are supposed to use Momo to get into the library. That is a thing. I just love the inconsistency of like, yo, these things can help you fly in the show. Wait a minute. But they're not going to help you fly in the game because we couldn't be fucked developing that. You're gliding in the so, air? Too complicated. Flying with Momo? Nah. Nah. Yeah, they would have to they would have to give uh they would have to give object permanence to and and hitboxes to things that don't have hitboxes already. Imagine they'd have to make the objects actually work. Imagine Here trying to make a good game. Yeah, I might want to find THC Australia and ask them about that one. They didn't. They never learned how. How do I do this? Yeah, no, I'm sure if we watch the end credits of this game, we'll figure out who made it, and we can fucking. Yeah, you can look on like LinkedIn or something. <laughs> Yo, LinkedIn THQ Australia. I'm gonna do that. Who the fuck made this atrocity? I need to. Okay, I am out of the vents. But I can't hit any of the vases or I'll make noise. Unlock. Okay, so the door is unlocked. Wee wee. Door is too heavy for Momo to open. It'd be like that. I did uh, unlock the door, I, so. I think I need. Yo? Richard Anderson, Associate Programmer at THQ Studio Australia. Yo, I've got a I'm word. coming for you. I've got a word to say to you, friend. What? Oh Lead my god. Programmer. Oh my god. What did you do, right? Oh like my, eight no, lines? Wait, no, real shit. He has detailed what he did. And like Mega Mind and all that's here, but and then the Cancelled Avengers game is here. The Last Airbender Wii developed a cutscene export tool used to convert outsourced cinematics to a format usable by our game runtime. Terrible. So they took models from a fucking 2D, from 2D footage and converted them into 3D. That's why they look like shit. That's, so Richard Anderson is the reason that Aang's eyes like cave inwards? Like, it's all his fault. Also, he was an intern programmer for 11 months before that. Before he worked on it. Man. Your internship did not teach you jack squat. I really need to see more. Hopefully LinkedIn allows me. Yo! Oh, that's THQ in general. No, I need THQ Australia specifically. I am going in depth. Oh, it's just giving me THQ. Son of a bitch. Okay. So I'm gonna have to sneak past these guys by being invisible. Okay. Well, that's one. I'm sure I can find more. Fuck. Okay. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits.
unannounced triple A Marvel quiet. title. You know, get fucking right. Triple A, right? Yeah, that definitely happened. Okay, we gotta sneak past these guys and make it out the door over there. Recommendations. Okay, easy enough. There's, there's two recommendations from him from people that have worked with him. Interesting. He's a smart fellow. According to these, but according to these guys, at least. I just gonna. I need to just search out. Please, I need more. I need more on this. Who the fuck helped with this terrible shit? You, now you should find uh, what's his face. See if you can get an interview with him. Richard Anderson. Shit, he found me. God damn it. Oh my god. He I could I could do what he's done. He he got a certificate to an IT in 2004 and then a bachelor of IT and bachelor of multimedia in 2008. That So he doesn't even have like a degree in fucking computer science or anything. He just has a degree in like IT. Wow. Yeah, that's and then he terrible. just became an intern. And then built his way up Shit. through stu uh, THQ Studio Australia. And that was it. That's amazing. He's probably done more, but he hasn't updated his account since 2011. Shrinking crystals, often called Minimite. What the fuck did I need that for? Why did we need to know about shrinking crystal? Restore my visible. Hurry. I ain't got all day. Where am I going? Oh, over here. I want to see your employees, bitch. I can save now. Maybe you can find where he lives on LinkedIn, or where he works now. Nah, as I said, At he least. hasn't updated his account since 2011. So... Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. But it's from Brisbane, so... That's a start. I need to talk to Richard Anderson. Hello, <laughs> Richard. Or oh, Dick. No, I'll, I'll search up Richard Anderson, THQ Australia, and see what, what happens. We're looking for anything on machines. Katara, you take the shelf on the left. Aang, you take the right, and... Whoa! Or we could try the huge... Whoa! In the center of the room. Wow! Richard Dick Anderson, Leo. Let me see. Are these battles? They almost look like training sequences to me. Whoa! Yeah, they definitely look like bending forms. That guy's taking a shit. <laughs> this library is for master benders, Sokka. You know. For master baiters, Sokka. I'm smart. Do you know of this island, Aang? No. But I'll bet Boomy does. Hey, I'm smart. What are you, me, bro? Talk to Boomy, Harry. Right. Hey, I'm smart. <laughs> I found what an we article from 2012 of how they axed 14 uh, team members of THQ Australia shortly before they shut down the entire company. Owned. Oh yeah, they were originally meant to make SmackDown vs. Raw online. Like, they were making an online version of it. Oh, of course. What about that? THQ shutters two Australian studios, lays off 200 employees. Now this is the deep shit. I'm digging deep. Might as well get out of the way now, because we got two more of these games. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking in. I'm looking into it, mate. I, I'm I'm trying to find. I mean, if this is gonna, yeah, dude. If this is gonna, if we if we if we need to find out about these THQ Australia folks, we'll find out about them now, and then we'll judge them really harshly over the next two games. Because I've already beaten this one, but I have not played the other two. I believe I owned Into the Inferno on the Wii. Um. Like, for my actual Wii. I never actually played it. 
Huh. Or maybe I did play it. I don't remember. Maybe I'll, if I play it again, I'll be like, Whoa, I remember this. I'll have, like, flashbacks. It's to the Inferno was the second one, right? Second, third one. Third one. Oh, it was the, the third burning one. Earth is the, the Burning Earth is the second one. Oh. Well, duh, because the second one is Earth, and Into the Inferno is the fire one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I see that now. I missed. Hey! He says, as he's the bandit, you're the bandit, you steal from people. Hey, guys. Yeah, Kotaku. Oh, there's so fucking many of them. Yo, they actually had, like, Hey, Kotaku, footage. can you tell me the whereabouts of the lead programmer of this game? So I can find uh, him and track him down for an interview? Well, fucking Kotaku, it's just like, they have an article. What was THQ Brisbane working on before the studio closed? And it opens with an anonymous source from THQ's former Brisbane studio. Fucking damn it. Was it Richard Anderson? Was it him? Damn it, Richard. Come on, Fuck. Richard. But yeah. We need to know. So, they, they leaked videos on YouTube of trailer footage for the Avengers game. And apparently it actually looked alright. Actually, no, looking at- It probably at wouldn't have been alright. Uh, looking at the screenshots, it looks like they've thrown like a bunch of toy models together. And, uh, Yo, dude, oh, that's probably why they could make a bunch of licensed shit. Because Richard Anderson made that, uh, made that, uh, program to convert outside footage into models. Yo. It's literally the entirety of TNG Australia was just on Richard Anderson's back. When it Dude, was he his, was carrying. He was carrying <laughs> it. He's just like, yo, I can turn this shit in 3D. Just like, I can map it out and stuff like that. I mean, look at Ang's head right here. See how fucking amazing the 3D is on that shit? Yeah, oh yeah, dude, it looks fantastic. Looks Wait, so good, doing, I wanna Boomy? fucking die. Hey, Boomy, what are we doing? Bye -bye. Oh, mollifying paste, because for some reason, we need paste for Boomy. As you do. Because Boomy's an old man who needs paste for jacking off. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, there's, like, little information about TNQ Australia around, including its employees. There's, like, a bunch of articles about Probably it. Probably because there closed. was, like, 12 of them. Yeah. Actually, no! Okay, the Wikipedia does provide this much. It had 200 employees. 200 people made this game? Well, employees. I don't know if those 200 people made the game, but... Well, they're probably all there. All two hundred of those names are probably going to be in the credits. Well, actually, I can look at the credits. I'm going to look at the Avatar: The Last Airbender credits and see if Richard Anderson. Well, no, he he, he said he said get, he, he gets, gets his one. just deserved. Richard we'll Anderson better be credited for this shit. Richard Anderson better have his name everywhere in this. I'm looking at the fucking... Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. I'm looking at the movie game. Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember what the DS one was. Yo. But I'm not coming up with anything. Video game talk show Good Games Presenters gave the Wii version a score of 4.5 and 4 out of 10. They criticized the absence of being able to block attacks, believing such a feature would have been easy to include. You can you block attacks like this with no, Z in the movie v version in the movie game. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Oh, but there is a Wii version then. Oh, good. Yes. Great. The reviews for the game were generally much more positive than those of the film. <laughs> and it got uh, a score of like four out of ten. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's. That's fair, man. Oh, fuck. Alright, I reckon I'm gonna be done with the THQ Australia fiasco, because there is no new information that can be found online. We only have the name of Richard Anderson. I have Richard Anderson. 
Unless I, like, scour through pages of, like, former THQ employees to hope another one says THQ Australia. But I don't want to do that. So, Richard Anderson is the only one I have. Now we could just blame Richard Anderson for everything. I'll look up Richard Anderson on Facebook to see if he comes up, but that's the, that's the most I'm going to do. If he does, I will literally be like, yo, you want to interview Richard Anderson? Okay, the new password is Zoomy Boomy. Zoomy Boomy. <laughs> I bet they thought they were really clever coming up with that one. All right, back to the back to the library. Ha! My name is Melville Dewey. Nice to meet ya. How you doing? If you need info, you know where to go. Go to your library. Ha! Man, what a fucking bop. What I don't a, even wait. know what that is. It's the Melville du the Dewey Decimal System rap. Ugh. It's from like 2008. It's huh. like what they what they always show in our school libraries. Um, when I was growing up in school, where they would, like, fucking... Here's... If you want to find, uh, your stuff, like, whatever books you want to find at the library, here's how you... How we organize them, and it was some guy from, like, 2008 who, like, did a rap about how the library organizes its books using the Dewey Decimal System. I'm so happy they tried to use raps to, like, convince Well, some guy had already made it, right? Like, it was already there. You might as well ask, because it's on YouTube. You just fucking watch it. Uh. Um. Yeah. Once upon a time, in library land, I was looking for information, man. Couldn't find it <laughs> anywhere. Books scattered everywhere. Books over here, books over there, books this everywhere. Is, Man, this sounds like an I ex swear. So I joke. said, there needs to be organization in the library. Use numbers. One, two, three. I named that system after me. Hi, my name is Melville Dewey. Nice to meet you. How you doing? <laughs> if you need info, you know where to go. Go to your library. That's it. That <laughs> sounds that, <laughs> that sounds like the next April Fool's song, mate. That's fucking. I wish. That's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> How you doing? How you oh, doing? Jesus. You should go just go watch it. He's so funny. Like, it's just this uh, one dude with still camera in the library. It's so I'm funny. I'm gonna watch it with the fire. It just it's like just so Dewey, it's in our Dewey Decimal. It's like Dewey Decimal rap, I believe, is what it's called. Dewey Decimal. Now Dewey is D E W E Y. E Y. Yeah, Dewey Decimal System. Dewey Decimal Rap. <laughs> Dewey Decimal Rap Ear Rape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I'm glad oh, someone's fuck. made that. Hold on, here it is. <laughs> Goes for four minutes and 15 seconds? Yeah, dude. We don't mess oh. around. Oh, I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm You're gonna like, see how fucking, fucking spot on I was too. I do not, I do not met fuck around with that shit. Why? He's he's got a wig on. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I wonder how that guy feels now, <laughs> like 13 years later. Oh my god! And this video has, I think, it has the lyrics as well. Dewey and Dewey Decimal Classification are registered trademarks of the OCLC Online Computer Library Center, Inc. used with permission. <laughs> yeah, dude. You were very accurate. I know. I don't fuck around. Do <laughs> The beat fucking sucks! I know. It's so bad. But it's fucking awesome. Just the way he says, HA! <laughs> uh. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Classifies information, son. Oh, 
My Dewey does yeah, not this dumb. Yeah, I wonder where this guy mm. is now. I want to meet him. <laughs> what the fuck? Zero, zero, zero generalities. Dude, uh, the, rest, the rest of it is him just telling you where the information is. The first part is the only part that matters. Well, I'm this, I'm this far into it. I'm going to dislike it with the Firestorm account. But it's awesome! <laughs> 400, language! Like Spanish! <laughs> like Spanish! But you know, with him actually Charities. explaining this- With this, him actually explaining this, I think we do have this system as well, actually. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Dewey Decimal System <laughs> is 800, legit. 800 literature. Like French literature. <laughs> like French literature. Info, you know where to go. Go to your library. <laughs> See, now you can't get it out of your head. No, because I'm reading the lyrics in time with the song. But yes. Well, you do, believe me, you're not going to get it out of your head. It never Mel leaves. Mel Once Bill it comes, Dewey. it never leaves. Melville Dewey. Imagine being a dude named Melville. Five nine seven point three sharks. <laughs> the fuck? Just him doing voices as well. Uh, uh, oh God. Okay. He's a who prophet is, of our time. Who? I need to Google who is Melville Dewey. <laughs> He's the guy who made the Dewey Decimal System. I know, and I need to meet him. Oh no, no, okay. Oh yes, he is. So, wait. Who wraps the Dewey Decimal Wrap? Do you think that guy was Melville Dewey? Uh, for a minute, yes. Um, I wow. <laughs> you're even dumber than I thought. Thank you. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, Melville Dewey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's... Okay, got it. He is... An act sure guy um and he's not the kid who made he's, the rap he, he's not that guy who rapped i just love that imagine if dude. the dude who came up with the library organization system made that rap to be like ha my name was melville doing i would love what to an asshole him. oh wait no I think this is the guy. No, his name is Mr. Scooter. Mr. Scooter. Melville Dewey, international library hip hop star, advocates reading in libraries to children grades K to eight. He encourages children to become lifelong readers and teaches them. It. I. F it is. He's he's right here. He has his own website. He's uploaded so many songs. The library card. Don't play Jerizzle. <laughs> Don't play Jerizzle. A song about plagiarism. Contact. Dude. I can't we, believe that's real. I need dude, to listen to all of his music. We need an interview with Mr. Scooter. We, Mr. Scooter is my new favorite person. It wants me to download Outlook 2016. To email him, I shall not. Okay, the stable master. I know where the stables are, I think. Uh, can we subscribe to Mr. Scooter with our YouTube channel? I don't give a fuck, dude. I never used the Firestorm account. <laughs> I'm subscribing. <laughs> He's, he has a series called Rap Battle of the Books. Of course he He's, does, dude. He still raps to this day. What a this legend. Guy, this... Wow. Mr. Scooter is a storyteller rapper and children's librarian from... Wait. From Wilmington, Wilmington, NC. Wilmington, North Carolina. Yeah, that's like right... That's uh, not too far from where I am. Dude, you need to have an in... You need to have an in-person interview with Mr. Scooter. Actually, one of my friends goes to school in Wilmington. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. UNC... UNCW. UNC Wilmington. Story yellow... Story yellow at yahoo.com. Alright, we got it, guys. We got it. 
Appa's he, new saddle. He performs, like, shows quite often. Good for him. Wow, this is some deep lore that I never knew. Like, I, I don't know if I've ever needed it, but I'm here for it. You uh, need it now. The deep lore of Mr. Scooter. The okay, Dilly Decimal Rap has 3.2 million views. Yeah, dude. The Dewey Decimal Rap is real shit. Only the real G's <laughs> listen to the Dewey Decimal Rap. I'm telling rap. you, dude. It's real shit. I'm gonna listen to it again. It's because it slaps. Cause dude, if you, if you listen to it again, you will, you will have it stuck in your head. Guaranteed. It, it once it once it once it gets in there, it never leaves. I feel like it's gonna be in my. This is gonna be the next thing for the month. For the next month. Well, this is gonna be the joke for the next month. Ha! Ha! Hey, it's the cabbages, man. Hello, sir. So they played this to you. Oh yeah, my librarians at school. Yeah, they played it to us. Yo, Probably everyone, from when I was in high school, so I was like 15. Everyone quiet in the library apart from the Dewey Decimal Rap, which is going to be plastic. Because that's real shit. On repeat. But you use numbers! One, two, three. I named that system after me. Mr. Scooter is a legend. I love that guy. We can literally email him. Storyyeller at yahoo.com He has a fucking Yahoo account. Dude, that's how or, you know he's a real G. Or just send him uh, a message on his Facebook. Mr. Scooter, a.k.a. Melville Dewey. As if... Uh, he can't... He... He brags about being Melville Dewey. So... Forgive me for mistaking it. That's true. Well, it wasn't until he actually started singing in the song about how 000 100 and all that that actually clicked. Like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's different. That's the actual fucking thing. Oh my god. Wait, what did he say? So much of this is funny, but so much of this I hate. I got badger boots. Just opening chests. So I think I need to craft shit, but I don't remember how to... I need to five... I believe it's leather straps is what I need. For Appa. Because that's a thing that happens in this game. I gotta up, make Momo? one of, I gotta make one of those like forty-five minute like YouTube documentaries dissecting the deep lore of Melville Dewey, aka Mr. Scooter. I dub style, just, yes. It's just gonna be that rap on repeat. I mean the the even the two the two guys that iDubs has already documented, I can't believe are real. <laughs> Which ones? Sorry? I have, which, which you haven't seen those? About? I thought you had seen those. I figured you had seen those already. IDubs probably... has done two documentar documentaries. Documentaries. Documentaries about these two, like, old school YouTube guys. Um, one of them was, like, the guy who really likes Star Wars, the fat dude who, like, goes around and swings his fucking lightsaber around and, like, has almost died from a lightsaber fight with his friend. Um, I, and I, saw, I, saw, I saw the one of, like, what was it that. Dax saw, Flame uh, was the other one. I've seen that one. I haven't seen the fat Star Wars guy one. I've seen Jack's Flames or whatever it's called. Yes, it Jack's Flame. Yeah, I've seen that one. I can't believe good. that guy's real. I I loved that one actually. That was fucking funny. Of course it was funny. I just can't believe the guy is real. He's he's such a weird dude. Like Amazing. the little f game show, the smoothie game show. That was fantastically awkward. And I don't really like awkward shit. I think it's I think it, it hurts to watch. But that was it's, actually funny. 
it somehow was like the perfect blend of awkward and funny. Like, he did it really well. <laughs> Like, guy's got a talent for being known for one video, and then I dub. Dax Flame? No, he was one of the early YouTubers. Everybody loved him back in the day. Oh, well, like, there you go. For... Yeah, it wasn't just one video. Yeah, it's because it was before our time. Like, this was like 2006, 2007. I need to rewatch that. It's been ages since I actually fucking watched that video. Why would you need to rewatch it? You see it once, I, you see it a million I, well, times. Well, clearly not, because I I thought it was one video, but I was wrong. No. <laughs> you don't need to rewatch it though. That's just something you you just had wrong. It's fine. Who cares? This is why you never watch anything new, is because you just rewatch the same shit. Yep. That's me. You do. You need to figure it. figure your life out. Hello, what am I doing? Nah. I'm good. <laughs> Yo, Momo, do something useful. Oh, there he goes. Oh, uh, that, that wasn't useful. That was the opposite of useful. He's full. What? Hurry, Here I go. No way. Do you remember what happened last time we... Well. Too bad, bitch. What are you, what are you screaming about, you twat? My cabbages! Oh, he ruined his cabbages. Off with her heads. One for each cabbage. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, Everyone now laughed. we have to fight the Earthbender guards. Because reasons. Because cabbages. They hide from the guards. How about hide. down here? Instantly turns invisible. Oh, here comes a guy. You don't want to beat up law enforcement. Get in trouble. I'll beat up whoever the hell I want. Momo, what are you doing? <laughs> What? Come, thank you. T stay still, you little bitch. Hide from the guards. Hey. Yo. Okay. Game. Man. As if this wasn't the best thing THQ Australia ever made. I can't believe they made two Mega Mind games. What? How was there enough content for two of those? That's crazy. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, ringing down the rosy a parking for the victory. Fears of the victory, ringing to the faint city in the fire and take to the fire to the fire. Do 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 be in soccer running around. All we do is run around and they stand in the middle. I be running with the lemur on my back and I like pussy and other things. Woo! Yeah. And I like pussy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. My name is the uh, Avatar Aang. I like the bang, the pussy, mm, pussy. Mm. And you want to make a song? Yeah, not yet. Well, you better start practicing. Hey, write a song is different to improvise a fucking rap about ang banging bitches. All right, there's two very distinct things. Yeah, uh huh. They sure are, Trent. Yeah, they are very distinct. I could write a song about ang banging bitches, but that would take much more time than improvising. My improv is not up there yet with that level of comedy. Yo, everyone, make a funny song, a funny rap about Ang the Airbender, uh, fucking. Go. Because he does, he has three kids. Correct. Bo Boomy, 
Kaya, and Tenzin. I remember them all. Man, you sure paid more attention to that than me. You, yeah. Well, that not exactly that hard. You finished Korra, yeah? Yeah. And it sucked. Yeah, well, they, there you go. Fucking season Well, you one. don't even meet Kaya and, and Boomy until, like, th season fucking three. Maybe season two, I don't remember. Who gives a shit? I, I don't. Why am I hiding Good. from the guards? Yeah, wait, wait, how long is this meant to last? Oh, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Bum, 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 bum. The best part about turning invisible is the random music that it decides to play. Wait, wait, wait. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. So we were supposed to use that opportunity of him coming over here to turn invisible and move past the guards. Instead, we spent three minutes standing in place. Let's go. Well, I ran, ran around the rosy. Well, how do I craft anything? What is this fucking... Minecraft? The best game of all time? The only Fuck. video game that is safe to play on YouTube? Because yep, it's not probably. violent? And it doesn't have blood? Well, it is violent, but it doesn't have blood. Imagine if they banned Minecraft for abuse to zombies. Like, because you're hitting a humanoid-looking figure. Well, then that dream motherfucker would be out of a job, and I'd be actually quite happy about that. Wasn't there, like, controversy surrounding him? I yeah, because he's a big, him. fat dickhead. What did he... Why? What did he do? But he just played Minecraft. Well, I just think he's stupid. But also, he apparently cheated on a speedrun. He has, like, the world record for the Minecraft speedrun, and apparently he cheated. God, who cares? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, the, the world record in the mine in the Minecraft category is a pretty big deal. There's a lot of people competing for that spot, and if you cheat, like, you know, you're pretty much like excommunicated. Like, you know, there's a lot of people who put a lot of time into perfecting speed runs. Like, it's not an easy thing. Um. So, that that can definitely, I can definitely see why it's a big deal, but also his audience are, is primarily 11 year olds, and they're all stupid. Every single one. Even you, who is currently watching. You like Dream, and you're 11. Sorry to Even say- Even if you're you've not been, 11! You've, you've been diagnosed with the stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no cure. What am I doing? Apart from, apart from not liking Dream anymore, that's actually the cure. You can get rid of it with that. Unsubscribe to Dream, subscribe to Viastorm instead. The superior. Uh, Minecraft channel. Let's Play channel. <laughs> oh yeah. We we'll we'll do like played... one Minecraft Let's Play episode. and I'll do one 11 hour Minecraft episode where I just beat the game all at once. You do that and I'll join like at the start and then go to bed and then join at the end. Well that was stupid, it just brought in a fucking... What am I even doing? How do I find people who craft me shit? I haven't seen a single store in this entire fucking place. You. Do you live here? Great. Oh, you didn't dude. tell me anything. Thanks, woman. What is he, What do you want for Appa? Yo. You want leather straps. Wait. Where do I get them from? Is it like from one of these people? It's a yellow dot. Shut up. No. No. You. I'll go easy don't, on you. Oh, four nations. Don't the be minigame. scared. I'm going to fight all of you. Hello, another yellow dot. Please, please, oh, merchant. Please, something useful. Let's see what you have. Leather strip. Hey, we gotta so buy I some need, leather strips for this bitch. I definitely need leather strips. Apparently. 
And I need metal sheets. I'm Finally, sure. this one this one obscure vendor has everything we need. Wonderful. Yeah, so we have to craft the shit. The but crafting? How do we how do we craft? Hello, old lady. I'd like to buy something. <laughs> Hello. What can you craft? Oh, she can craft, eh? Hard leather strip. Yo, I like some hard leather. You have enough materials to make that. Oh, what can about? I'll just, I don't fucking... Great. Do I have five? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I forgot I have airwave. Fantastic. I can do airwave. That's actually a good move. I like learning different attacks. It's a lot quicker than the... It's basically the fucking slap, slap down technique, but not as long. Yes, I have them. Take care. Okay, now we go to the Take stables. Care. This is Head stupid. The stables. This is very dumb, very silly. Man, just running around like a bunch of morons. Let's go. Oh look, I got a sneak past some guards. <gasps> Sneaky. Oh wait, they're the cats. Kill the cats. I'm not like killing cats. the cats. Yeah. Although they're all hairless cats, and I really don't like hairless cats. Ba 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 bump. It's my favorite bit. The weird fucking walking he does when he's sneaking. Fuck you, fucking idiot cats. Go fucking cat fuckers. Get out of here. We don't want none of your business. Look, one of them dropped a helmet. That makes sense. And a heavenly headband. Oh, well, no, that was the helmet. helmet. Yep. I don't know how you got access to that cat. Probably stole it. No, he yeah. He made it. Lies. I don't know. I don't believe that cat went to that old lady and crafted a helmet. Well, he didn't. He he didn't craft a helmet. She crafted the helmet. It's for I don't him. believe the, I don't believe the cat brought the materials to the old lady <laughs> to craft that specific hel specific helmet. It wasn't a helmet. It was a headband. It was wearing a Just heavenly a headband made by the old lady who's going to heaven in about two minutes. I love that's a side plot. You just go back and she's fucking dead. You gotta yeah. figure out how it happened. And it turns out it was just a heart attack from all day. Murder mystery. Murder mystery. What if she's just old? No, that can't be it. Someone, someone else is responsible. Uh, sucker. Where are you? They stayed back to fight. Hello. Talk to me, yes. asshole. Hey there. Oh, there he is. Hey there. Oh, he's okay, definitely I got Appa's new saddle. I talked to the stable master. He's right fucking here. Hello. See you later. Hello. See you. Hello. So Goodbye. now why? Are you who's this are you the stable master? Do you master my stables? Please. I need the master. Oh, he said the same shit. Like it when that shit's copy and pasted. Someone All found right. their way into the thing. Yo, look at this creature. I remember that. Bye. Definitely. Yo, uh, how's that? Momo? Oh, fix it. Why are you giving me shit, Momo? <laughs> Fuck off, Momo. No one cares. Alright, Sokka. Time to open the chest, you fuck. Yep, Why only are you... And open a chest. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's so accurate. Dude. Yes, you got this. Yes. That was atrocious, but yet it's still 80%. Atrocious. Team the little leg. Yeah. I'm a prodigy. The Call the atrocious prodigy, again. Man. Say that to my face. Atrocious. I'm a prodigy. 
I don't yeah, give a fuck reason. what you say. You're, what you say is probably wrong anyway. It usually is. Yeah. Me? I don't know what Why I'm Why don't you try about. being right? The game says I'm a uh, prodigy. Uh, I'll try to be right. Oh, yeah, I can try. Yeah, and fail. <laughs> I'm burping a lot for no reason. Yes, the Royal Merchant should be in by now. Of course. Let's go. That's definitely part of the story of this game. Why, uh, what's so royal about them? What do they sell that's so royal? So the, 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 the golden dildo of, of Omashu. It's for boom. <laughs> I don't know why he wants one, but you know, we don't ask questions around here. If he if if wants, the... wants the gold dildo, he gets the gold dildo. In his old age, he is the king. literally In his old age he said, Wouldn't it be funny if there was a giant gold dildo statue? A like penis statue just sitting out front of my castle. I think that would be fucking hilarious. Then no, but then the Fire Nation will never take over this place because they'll be they don't want to have the giant penis statue. They don't want to have the place that's known for having a giant penis statue. But it's <laughs> I think it's awesome. I can imagine that meeting. Oh, so where did you conquer yesterday, my lord? Oh, we took the place with the giant penis statue. Oh, hey, you mean what? Omashu? What the fuck? Why did you... Why did you want the place with a giant penis statue? But sir, it was a stronghold of the world. I don't care. It has a giant fucking penis statue. Get it out of here. Just because I fucked my wife and had Zuko and Azula doesn't mean I want to see penises. God. I you know this. Fuck. Yo, oh. just murdered that cat. The fact that Mark Hamill voiced Ozai is still crazy to me. That is crazy. That makes no sense. Like, it, it, I would have expected it to be anyone else. Like, I never recognized that it was him until I actually fought, like, when I was a kid. Because I never, like, I've seen a, seen a few things with him in it. But like, I just never made that connection. Oh god, Fucking the Fire Mark. Nation is here. Old lady's about to die. Speaking of heart attack. Earthbenders. Okay, Earthbenders. Throw like three rocks with 10,000 stamps. Stomp. Do, 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 do. I'll hold them off. You that low texture rock makes me want to die. What about you? I'll uh oh. Ah, uh, the voice is getting weird again. This way, guys. What about you? Oh, I get to be Haru and beat the shit out of these guys. Oh, yo, you get to be an Earthbender, man. What about you? Fire Nation left Don't you to worry. feed 14. Don't worry about me, babe. Got this. And meanwhile, while, and meanwhile, man. while he's out there, Aang just fucking swoops in. Sliding into that water dry pussy. As Fuck you do. No one's business. Hell yeah, he knows what's up. I mean, it's not like he has any Air Nation pussy. Will you go penguin sledding with me? And by that, I mean riding my giant fat cock. My giant That's airbender cock. I spelled penguin sledding. Well, you know, she had to. How else would he have three kids? He got in there real good. He got all of it in there. All the way up to the womb. And the fact they're at separate ages, he did it on more than three k. Yes. He's killing it. Oh, I probably have to do a focus move here. Yeah, that would make or sense. Or no, I don't, apparently. Great. Oh, great. I'm going up I here instead. Shit. Let me kill these fuckers. Oh, you got some allies. Look at that. I'm 
kind of being assaulted here. Not really okay with it. I'm not okay with assault, would you believe it or not? Yeah, this is actually looks kind of cool. Ow! Like earth bending and shit. Stop! Keep dying. There's only me, so I can't like. Katara isn't Ow. here to heal you. Ow! Forgot about that. There's nothing to consume. Like I'm assuming that's not a thing. Consumable. Food. Why? Why would that be a thing, Trin? Why would they? Why would they think of that in this game? Why would they have food yeah, to heal your HP? Uh, yeah, it's a fucking I don't know. Other games. Why, why would why would why would THQ Australia, the brilliant minds in charge of this game, <laughs> have thought of that? Like, I mean, what do you expect them to be superhuman? What do you expect them to like come up with common sense concepts for a game with HP in it? You're yeah, asking a lot. You're asking way too much. I'm asking a lot of the 200 employees. That and Google not a single not one thought this game. that having food to heal your HP would be a good idea. I thought I thought Richard Edison would have been all over that, but like clearly I gave the man too much credit. And I mean, you know, I, I, I I look like a fool. I, I have egg on my face. For you really like, do. Hoping, hoping. Richard that Anderson video game. would be on, would would know what he was doing. I mean. Man, Richard Anderson can only do so much. I mean, he was carried nah. all 200 you know, of those motherfuckers. What you said before about me being wrong a lot, you're right about that. Yeah, I, I'm right. Clearly. Clearly. I mean, Richard I, Anderson, I, I, I mean, that guy, I mean, he can only do so much. He's carrying um, 200 employees on his back. Look, he had to animate and like convert a 2D image into Haru. And that would have been a lot of work. That's a lot of work to make an, a 3D model of Haru from scratch? I mean, what do you expect from the guy? Perfection? Uh, a decently polished game? No, I should not expect that. I am deeply sorry to DHQ Australia and, and Richard Anderson. More, yes, most, mostly most to Richard movie. Anderson, who was carrying yes. all of THQ Australia on his moder moderately muscled back. Since he's now no longer with THQ Australia, I only pray that he's with a better company that appreciates, who appreciates his his efforts. Yes, he better be with Epic Games Studios. Making models for Fortnite. He has to, like, take that concept art that people draw and convert those images into 3D models. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that shit's difficult, man. Like, he told me himself. He, uh, I messaged him 17 years ago. When I was... From my earlier. mom's email account. From my mom's email address. I remember when my mother helped me set up my first email account and I was very confused. Yeah, I had a Yahoo account at first. I think mine was literally like Trent Malay 27 or something. And I hate and I really didn't like it, so I made Wow, I just fucking died. You just fucking died. It's because the fucking oh. fireballs come out of nowhere and they fucking hit you for no matter how far away you are. Mechanics. Perfect. Richard Anderson. I got beef. No, no. Hey, hey, no, no. We can't. He tried really hard in this game. He did. Can't. He tried really hard. But we have to let him go on this one and it will future errors in every game. Because he, you know what, he worked really hard as an intern, and then, I don't know, what the fuck... Whatever the fuck he was abilities. doing after that. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he was doing, I've already forgotten. Lead know, programmer. He, he claimed to have worked 
I, he claimed to have done like so much on the unreleased AAA game that I almost think it's bullshit. And he's just claiming that because it was never actually released. <laughs> oh. Suck this firebender penis. There we go. Suck this cock. Cause I'm. Um, how? Stand strong against the fireballs that come out of nowhere yep. and destroy yeah, me for too. no reason. You two earthbenders, do you want to help? No, nah, dude. I got this one. Ow. Nah, they're busy. They're busy. Oh, there we go. Here we go. They're, they're coming in to help. But they moved within the uh, attack range, clearly. Come on, earthbenders. Whatcha? Come on, firebender. Get up, freak! Get up, you fucking freak. I keep seeing that clip of, um, Scooby-Doo. A Fred chasing someone in, like, a, like a vegetable costume. Ow. And he just yells, Come back here and fight like a man, you vegetable! <laughs> it's so Let's go. It just cut. And it just cuts there, and it's so fucking bad. Come back here and fight like a man, you vegetable! <laughs> god, fuck! Oh my god! So good. Look at this oh, giant heroes. fucking animal. Bam! Yeah, you have seven to defeat. You got this. Yeah, bro. This one's on. This one's mine. I'm winning this one. It's a sh Bam. It's a shame. It's a shame that fire hurts. Ow. What is? Why does that guy sound like fucking Chewbacca? Yeah. It's uncanny. I won't let you escape. There we go. Oh. Oh, I've been defeated. I have been mortally wounded. Oh. See, what the fuck was that? Oh. Holy fuck. <laughs> it just got... Just fucking destroyed that one guy, at least. Ow. Yeah, he's got a spear. Yo, at least I knocked them back. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. We're nearly done. Stop with the- stop with the fireballs. Try to heal a little bit. One's gonna land directly where you're standing. Oh yeah, of course. I don't- I'm not allowed to have fun. Hey, fuck you, no. spear man. That's legal. I'm gonna kill you. Fun is not on the agenda. Yes! That's right, bitch! You think you can block me? You thought wrong. I missed. I missed again. <laughs> and I missed the third time. Yeah, baby. I fired. Now I missed. Four remaining. Come on, you fucking on, lazy you. ass earthbenders. Get your asses in gear. We have. Four left and three Ow. of them here. Ow! But that means the final one is a boss. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm running out of HP. Hopefully they don't also have their HP restored. Nah, that's that's a bit too complicated of a mechanic for Richard Anderson. Okay. That's true. <laughs> Richard Anderson, he's, he's that may, might be asking a little much of the guy. I love that this game was just made by Richard Anderson alone. Now, that's awesome. I want the credits. I want you to Richard edit the credits. Ander Richard the Anderson, a <laughs> hundred times. I want, you, I want you to edit the credits of this game. To just say in giant bold text, <laughs> Richard Anderson, and this is followed by black. I will do that for like two minutes. <laughs> for literally two minutes. It's just one Richard Anderson, and it's just black for two minutes. That's all.
No, I'm just gonna make one giant Richard Anderson, and it's just gonna scroll across the screen for two minutes. Okay. <laughs> I'm keen. Or for whatever the like the credits last. It's just Richard Anderson. Yes. However long I it takes. Send, I could send you his LinkedIn, and it was just. And put a picture of him. It's just his face. <laughs> Bring on Richard Anderson. Richard Anderson. What a legend. Yeah, we did it. Take the pace to Boomy. Now I can ignore the rest of these fuckers. No, I don't want to. I don't want to sign in. I was already viewing Richard Anderson. I already have Richard Anderson, my new best friend, mind you. Can I be invisible? Swag. Yeah, I'm, I don't even care about these guys. Here we go. And do a save in case I die again. Because I could very well. Who knows? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't taste me with Fuck. your rhino. Put your spear you'll away, for, bro. You'll pay for existing. <laughs> Good, they're just chasing after the one leftover guard. Wow, you you just you're just watching. You're watching all these guys get brutally ganged up on and you're like, nah. Oh my god, it's a massacre. Well then again those two are doing nothing as well, so. Yeah. That was a fucking slaughter. Sorry to keep you waiting. Invasions can be so time consuming. Uh, do you have the paste? Yes. Good. We I'm do? To need some help with this. Now I can brush my teeth with it. I was correct. <sighs> My lips were so chapped. Our lips. Did we just spend all that time fetching you lip balm? They were chapped. Okay. Uh. The island you seek is called Four Paws Island, and it's right wow. there. Well, I think we're just gonna ignore the Fire Nation invasion and uh, just leave for an island, island vacation. Yeah. Why? Why save the Earth Kingdom from a Fire Nation attack? Let's just go fly away into the middle of the ocean. As oh, we wait, do. Looks like the Fire Nation. Looks like the oh, Fire Nation. Oh, we haven't fought a boss yet. Good luck, Ang. We've suspiciously not fought a boss yet. True. Ready, guys? All right. Good luck, Ang. You want to enter the boss area? Yes, I do. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Here we go. I beat the last one on the first try. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. Hello. Oh, it's probably that one guy, yeah, who was angry at us earlier. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. What are you doing? We need to get Aang out of here. The king! The king is a fool. Allowing you to yeah, you're the fool, the dude. I'm gonna beat the fucking Just shit out of you. I'm gonna beat too. that mustache off your face. About the Fire Nation. There are bigger I'm gonna steal your Fire hat Nation and, and your eat it. Precious little avatar. I am part Yo. of a plan that will ensure the safety of the Earth Kingdom. Your so now I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I'll attend to that Definitely fair. Defeat the console. Hey, stop with that earth Yay. bending shit. Uh, Jack Desena. You're a real, you're a real G. He's like the only real G amongst these folks. Even in, what's her name, Mae Whitman or whatever. Actually, I remember looking up what she had done since Avatar, and she's like on this, she, she was like on this weird, uh, like, fucking, uh, sitcom. It looks really bad. <laughs> 
great. Bad show is it's perfect. Well, it didn't even look bad as in like good bad, like bad as in like bad enjoyable. It just looks straight up boring. Fuck You'll pay for hell. hitting a girl. Really now? Will I pay for punching a girl? That apparently gets us in trouble. Come back here, coward. They're all confused and shit. Airwave. Airwave. I love the new attacks that can actually, like, hit better. Thank you. Got his ass. Do you think you can beat me up? Key. Dick. Where did he go? What? He's that. having a little trouble. Airwave. The survey seems much easier than the prison guard guy. Oh yeah. Well, this guy sucks. Oh, air, my airwave. Also, you have Haru. Yeah. He sucks and you have Haru, so... Yeah. Ow! Ow! Uh, Stop doing the rock wait, slide attack. It? We just haven't lost a lot of health. Yeah, he just- well, I don't think- he, his attacks don't do a lot of damage, even though he- even if he hits me. Yo, console. Console. Ow. Dick. Not gonna finish that sentence. Come. Fucking dick, huh? Come. Come. Well, not really. No one else has like a ranged attack, but Aang is all out of fucking chi. Come here, bitch. If chi wasn't a mechanic, then this would be the fucking easiest game out there. But fortunately, chi is a mechanic, and you have to wait. Richard Anderson thought ahead. He really gave <sighs> this game that much thought. And thought, you know what? We'll make things a little bit harder and extend the amount of time people will have to play this game. A chi bar. Airwave. A meter. Bam! Yo, you, he does deserve that. You better kill him. Swag. Owned. What do you think he meant about a plan? I think the console's plans didn't show the battles at all. God, what's wrong with your jaw? Training the machines to replace Bender's. I think your jawline is fucked. Dark tunnel. Come on. Oh, Zuko's here still for some reason. When did she get here? Great. Where's my honor? <laughs> <laughs> Where did my honor I must go? have it! Answer me! Answer me, scoundrel! Where did you put my honor? Is it in the kitchen cabinet? I looked in my room everywhere and I couldn't find it! I haven't found my honor for like a year! I must have put it in my favorite jacket. It's in the pockets. A cutscene. Yeah, there's the island we're going to, in the middle of the water, as islands are usually in the middle of water. As that is what qualifies an island. Hey look, I found the island. Ha ha! Ha ha, that was funny, Sokka! Say it again! Great. We have successfully won the game. Um, anyway, that'll be all for today. Uh, I don't know why, 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 I don't know how far we are in this game, but, uh, well, uh, I hope Richard Anderson is happy with I, I, Yeah, I hope Richard Anderson, Richard Anderson is proud of himself. Um, and, uh, we're gonna finish this game. <laughs> So, you know, it's such a co it's such a common name that if someone named Richard Anderson is watching this, that would be funny. Just comment down below if your name is Richard Anderson. If your name Anderson. is Richard Anderson, please, please comment down below. Even if, 
<laughs> Even if your name isn't Richard Anderson, I just want on every video now to say a, a comment just to say I am Richard Anderson. <laughs> Please, like, what, somebody, somebody want? take one for the Anyone. team and comment, I am Richard Anderson. Please, please, I <laughs> That will make that. us very happy. Um, <laughs> just uh, anyone, please, just, anyone, please, please. Thank you. Um, so, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week for more of this awesome game. Bye. Bye.